Yes, welcome. This here is the SBL. And here we have two proficient teams, one in the offense and the other in the defense. Austin Rhinos and San Jose Skull Crushers gave this league the best game in the playoffs thus far. And these right here are your full game highlights between these two teams. Now, when it came to the Austin Rhinos in particular, I set up this team to play all in regards to allowing them to move freely, being skull crushers. And I placed Rhinos, the game plan was to place Rhinos more, side, more inside the paint, which uh, they kind of did, but to my surprise, skull crushers uh, pulled their players more from the inside and kept them all outside so they could drive better, which worked in their favor. So now the strategy going in for game two for the Rhinos, I'm gonna make it so they play. Uh, if I do do this again, they play zone entirely. Like uh, keep it zone and still sag off and watch the paint from the inside. Now that's my second thought in that um, in regards to changing that aspect. Then I had another thought to just, you know, play tight Play man, play tight, and uh, double, double, especially Richard, uh, Jay Sean Richardson. Jay Sean Richardson went off for damn the 37 points. Uh, so I don't expect that to be the case next time. I do expect him to be double um, as much as possible by Rhinos. And uh, I continue to think that um, they perfect or they keep pushing uh, Rhinos themselves, their offense. Uh, so that is the plan. Uh, Skull Crushers uh, is coming in the playoffs with the best defense uh, in the league. So I don't know, that may vary next time. We just have to see, but I expect a better game defensively um, next time. But offensively, this was great. This is this, this is one of the best offensive games. That's why I wanted to post the full highlight. So you can see what uh, transpired here. Get a good understanding. Look at that, right? Look at that. That's what I mean. Look at that. That was an easy ass drive. But you can see, look at look at the offense scheme. Everybody's on the outside. No one's in the inside. Whereas, look at Skull Crusher. I mean, excuse me, look at the Rhinos and how they play in the inside. They keep a player, you know, in the, you know, in the middle just for the post game. Skull Cutters wasn't playing that like that. Look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's wide. Look at that. It's wide open. Can't have that. Got to go back and shut his eyes, man. I just did not know they was going to play like that. They play, uh, the offense is better than I thought. Mind you, this is they're not really known for their offense, but this was, this was a shocker. So I don't know. I come back again, man. You never know how a team's going to play. I thought the Rhinos would play a lot better defense wise. They did great offense. Uh, I think they had three players in, uh, in the 20s, three players in, in 20, 20 digits. So it was Nino Price, it was Adrian McCarter, and then you had uh, David Island. So they, them two players was going off in, re, in their respective positions, but like the Skull Crushers came right back delivering. Like they just never, they never let up. Look at that. Are you, are you kidding me? Hopefully next time when I strategize this, uh, this will work in uh, Rhino's favor. And they could get a W. So we'll see. That's the game plan next time. Game plan next time for game two, right? Is to 
two aspects, right? I could go, I could play, make them play tight, double up uh, Richardson to, you know, minimize as much damage he might deliver for game two as possible. Because, I mean, they is still going to be home. Uh, so you got to factor that in. So the momentum is going to be on their side for most of the game. And to, to feed it more in the inside, I, on the offense to make it more easier for for rhinos to dominate easy look at that that was an alley like he pointed up and, and was like yo throw me the alley that's how easy it was like that's how easy the hole was open for him to feel that comfortable to to toss up his finger and be like yeah throw me the alley i'm about to just i'm 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 no that has to change defensive wide that has to get better has to can't go with uh defense that that scatter you know what i mean look at that look at that that was not what i planned that is not that is not what i set up for this team like that's not what i know no we they will come stronger next time i guarantee it so i was just extremely disappointed but it gave the great game offense wise, like I said, and I I enjoyed it. One of the best games I enjoyed thus far in this league. So every aspect, you know, you come with a different strategy, you know, just like within the NBA, and you expect it, you know, a different result. So we'll see what the next game presents itself with. And hopefully, you know, Rhinos do come out with a W to even the score out make it more interesting i hope so but i'm gonna let the highlights play out and uh, i come back with another one and we'll just you know analyze that more and um i catch y'all next time keep up all right keep up Thank you. 